Hey guys, and welcome to GroupHomeRiches.com. This is our first webinar, so I want to welcome you, and I hope you get a ton of value out of this webinar. Um, if you came, if you clicked on this, and you are here watching this webinar, you are probably like most of our members. They have the desire to help out their community, but at the same time, they want to not just make good or all right money, but they want to make great money doing something that they love. Now, a lot of our members are in the medical field already. We have a lot of nurses. Uh, we have a lot of folks who volunteer their time um, at local charities, or a lot of folks just have the desire to help out certain segments of people because, you know, they, they may be um, ex-veterans themselves, or they may have a family member who's a, a ex-military and they just see the the rough times that they go through. Um, we've all seen that. If you if you live in or have been in any city, um, I mean, you you see um, folks who served our country and they're they're homeless and they're on uh, they're on the corners begging for change um, to just get food. Um, you know, our members and and our model that I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about. Uh, can help people like that. A lot of a lot of folks have family members that maybe have a certain disability, and they want to provide uh, they want to provide shelter for people like them. Now, in this webinar, I'm going to show you a model that will satisfy that desire, that need to help out your community. But at the same time, we're going to show you how you can make great money doing that. Uh, it's a win-win situation all around. Uh, now, I know you can tell by the name of the site, by the name of this webinar and our company, we are not a charity. So we are going to show you how the business aspect of this, but still, you're going to be helping out your community. It's going to be a win-win. Now, our, our founder, um, Andy, he put together our, our system and, and our products. He's been in the business for about 15 years, and he's scaled his business to now where he earns well over the average income for for the United States. Um, we're talking over six figures in passive income. And what that means is that he does not have to deal with the with the day to day activities. He's not managing the homes. He's not in and out of the business. Um, he's he just checks on it, make sure things are going smoothly from time to time. But for the most part, he's pretty hands he's hands off with this business. Now you can do that if you want with our model. We'll show you how. Really, whatever your goals are, a lot of our a lot of our members are just here to um, make some side income and also possibly replace replace their job. Chances are you are not happy with with your current job. If you do have one, if you are looking into stuff with this, and uh, we don't blame you. What we call a job, we say that that stands for just over broke. So regardless, whatever your goals are with watching this webinar today, I hope you get some massive value from it and we look forward to working with you. Now, I know a lot of you are not here to get rich quick. If you are, please stay tuned uh, briefly. I'm going to give you directions on what to do if you are here to get rich quick. In this webinar, I'm going to show you how you can generate up to $8,000 in revenue per month in a property that you do not own without a lengthy or expensive licensing process. I know it sounds too good to be true, but I promise you, stay tuned through the whole webinar and I will show you exactly how that's done and how that's possible and how you can be up and running in this business in the next 60 days if you want to. I'll provide you with uh, with some tools and a clear path on how to get there. Does that sound good? Awesome. Let's continue then. Now again, I'm going to show you how it's possible, but if you are on this webinar thinking this is a get-rich-quick kind of business where it's going to require little effort, I am going to need you to leave the webinar. That is correct. This is not for you. This is not going to get rich quick. Um, it's going to take 
it's going to take some hard work in the beginning. Um, but like I said, this is a business that you can eventually scale up and become financially free by if that's what your goal is. Or you can simply just earn some really good part-time income or replace your current job's income. Uh, retire from that and become your own boss doing something that you love while at the same time helping your community. But it is going to take some effort on your on your end and I will show you how it's done. But again, you do need to be ready to put in put in the work. So if you clicked on this webinar, ready to get rich quick and adios, this is not for you. All right. Now, if you are still with me, you are ready to put in the work. Thank you. And I do look forward to working with you. Now, this slide, this is what our fancy lawyer wanted us to let you know. Uh, watching this webinar does not guarantee that you will earn a revenue of $8,000 a month. Um, most of our members, like I said, come to our website while just trying to research if they can make money while helping out their community. And we will show you that you can. Um, you can be up and running in as little as 30 to 60 days if you hustle. And the average home under our model will bring in revenue of around $4,000 to $6,000 a month. Um, so you can expect that in revenue. And then after expenses and everything is taken out, you can expect to earn a couple of extra thousand dollars a month. Um, it, it, like I said, it is going to take a lot of a lot of work and, and effort in the beginning. You're going to need to learn everything. You're going to do some need to hustle to get your home up and running and um, get it filled up. But the great part about it is that after it's set up and filled up, this is only going to be part time hours from you. And that's just your first home. So imagine what happens after you do get maybe two or three houses or after you're one of the top ranked websites in your area for people who are searching for a group home like yours what happens when social workers are referring tenants to you consistently um, and you can maybe offer more services or make the home nicer or prepare better meals um, you can you can scale this up and you can eventually raise your um you know raise your your rent basically or the the fee that you're going to charge your tenants i'm going to talk to you uh, in a little bit about one of our members that is uh, operating in texas that he actually earns over eight thousand dollars a month in revenue on a home that he does not own so again at the end of this webinar you are not going to be bringing in eight thousand dollars in revenue but my goals are to give you a better understanding of our model, which brings our founder over six figures in passive income a year and some members, like I just mentioned, up to $8,000 per home in revenue. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you how you can operate a group home out of your area without, the, without a lengthy and expensive licensing process. And we're going to discuss a couple of tools that we offer to help you reach your goals quicker. If that is not enough to keep you till the end of this webinar, I'm going to bribe you. That's right. If you stay until the end, we will throw in our free book course, which includes the quick start guide that's valued at $19.99, our 23 most common mistakes, which is valued at $29.99, and we'll give you our 73 ways to market your group home book as well, which is valued at $29.99. So that is about $80 worth of material just to hang out and listen to me talk about a business that you're already interested in. Um, stick around to the end and I'll go over these courses in much more detail. And also I'll get you a link so you can download for free. All right, now that we have the get rich quickers out of here and you know that you're going to get... Not just some great information out of this webinar, but you're going to get a freebie as well. Let's get into why you probably came on the webinar in the first place. How do you bring in $8,000 in revenue a month by starting a group home in a home that you do not own? So if you are one of our, our members already, you, you probably have seen an email a couple weeks ago about an extremely successful member here in Texas that uh, Andy was actually going to 
to check out his home, just check in with him, and also check out a, a way to monitor his group home. What you're looking at now is a picture from that gentleman's phone. Uh, now, he actually installed a, a cool camera system into his home so he can track and manage his home while he's on vacation. Uh, he recently went to Hawaii and um, he wanted to be able to, to manage his home and see what was going on. So that's that's what you're looking at a picture of right here. But anyways, uh, he, he's 24 years old, no college degree, uh, just had the desire to, to help others and change his financial future. And that's what, what brought him to our website. He actually runs a sober living home here in Texas. He does not own the home, so he's renting it. We don't know his exact numbers, but it's a four-bedroom home, so he's probably uh, probably renting it for about twelve hundred bucks a month. Uh, but he followed he followed our model to a T. Actually, gets a little bit more in revenue per month than uh, than Andy's homes, but he is getting nine hundred dollars per bed per month with no food. Um, so just just do the math. Um, he has nine people in the home. And at $900 a pop, that's $8,100 per month in revenue. Um, now, he, he's he got it set up now. As you see, he's he's tracking it. He's monitoring it. Uh, he has a uh, one, of, one of the members manages the home. He's kind of like the head of the home that he's assigned. He's followed our marketing to a T. Uh, and again, it's a sober living home bringing in over $8,000 a month in revenue. Um, you know, subtract out the rent and probably some other expenses. He's probably, well, let's say that's $6,000 in income. Uh, and this is for part-time work. Now imagine what, what could, how could your life change if you were bringing in, you know, this is above average results, but let's say you, you do on the low end two or $3,000 a month. How much, you know, how much better could your, your life improve? Um, and it's not just that. It's not the money, as, as we've touched on before. You're helping your community as well. Uh, so think about think about that. Think about how your life can change if you were to implement our system similar to this young gentleman. Moving on, uh, and this is an actual profit and loss statement. So um, we're, we're going to show you what's possible in this business and, and what you could be doing. Now, again, it, you were looking at a four bedroom home. And as we teach in the products that I'll, I'll touch on later, uh, but you are going to double up each room. So it's two tenants in each room. This particular home, we charge $650 per tenant. So your total revenue and total income is going to be $5,200. Again, as as we mentioned, on average, the each home is going to bring in revenue of about four to six thousand dollars per month and now you're going to look at these are just some basic expenses um your electric and water a little over 200 gas about 40 cable tv and telephone is provided uh it's about 85 dollars piti which you can kind of compare to to rent if you're not looking to own a home at this point or or purchase a home what this is is principal interest taxes and insurance so payment to the bank um, payment for insurance and then your your tax payments so total expenses are a little over fifteen hundred dollars and your gross profit uh on this on a home like this is going to be uh three thousand six hundred sixty five dollars and then these are just some other expenses with just uh you know, just services that, that, that Andy provides like food and supplies and then some, you know, just some management expenses that's incurred here. So net income, just a hair under $3,000. Now, again, uh, $3,000, you're not going to get wealthy off that. But imagine if you had two homes, uh, you could probably replace, you, you know, you could probably replace your, your current income just by having two homes like this. And implementing the strategies that, that we teach. Uh, <clears throat> if you're looking to become wealthy or you know financially free from doing this, it's totally possible. So imagine if you have, you know, scale it up to like Andy, who has, you know, about 15 homes like this, 15 to 20 homes. 
<clears throat> uh, doing this kind of this kind of revenue. Now, what you're looking at here is an actual home in Texas that Andy owns. Um, as you can see, it's nothing fancy. You do not need to buy or rent the the nicest home on the block. Um, Andy's to the point where you know where he's buying the homes and and renovating if needed. Um, and as you can see, nothing fancy. It's not like a very high end rehab or remodel or or anything like that. Just real basic um, in the real estate industry, rent ready um, rehab or or style that what you're looking for and and what you need. So as you can see with those past two examples. The money can be great in this business um, and you can achieve financial freedom even if, if that's what you're going for. But again, uh, that's not why we do this. And that's probably not, you know, the main reason why you're looking to do this. Um, we're, we're doing it to help people. And the more people you help, the more money you're going to get in exchange. Really, you provide a great service and money is just going to be the byproduct of that. So Andy gets letters and emails like this all the time. And I wanted to include that in that in that webinar to really drive this home to show you the impact that, that you can have on your community. Um, so this is what he, he got this uh, this letter uh, recently, just right before Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to leave we're going to leave the name and the address blank just pr to protect uh, privacy for uh, privacy issues. So hello, uh, Andy. My name is blank. Um, I am a former resident and resided at blank. Uh, but I have found I have fond memories of all these group homes of yours where I lived. Some of my memories are not so good due to my mental illness and the dark times I was going through at the time. But the rest of my memories at your group homes are amazing. The all bills paid rent, Thanksgiving turkeys, the respect from all the staff and house managers, even the food. You guys treat us well. Thank you for being there during my darkest moments. You all really helped me out. I am doing well now, residing in a one bedroom apartment. I wouldn't be here though if it were not for you. You provided me with a roof over my head, warm food and love. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Sincerely, blank. Now, can you imagine receiving letters and feedback like that? just from providing a service and a business that you own while you're free from the nine to five kind of grind or, uh, you know, in some cases it's not even nine to five. I know we have probably a lot of uh, nurses and people in the medical field on this webinar and you guys are working crazy hours, probably from like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. and stuff like that. Um, you can honestly in this business, once you have a couple homes up and running, you could be getting feedback like this, you know, just on your phone while you're on vacation or, uh, you know, spending more time with your family. All right. So this is probably everybody's first question. How much is it? How much is this, this going to cost me? Yeah, that that's great. Andy makes all this money and I can be up and running in 30 to 60 days. But how much is it going to cost? You know, let's uh. Let, let's do some some math right now that that you're probably thinking, you know, you probably you have to buy a home, right? Um, well, what, how much is is the just the median average home? We're talking like three or four bedroom in the United States is two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. I know you could get mortgages on that, but it's still something you're going to have to pay back. Right. Um, and then what else? What else are you going to need? You're going to need to have a, a, a nurse on staff, right? I mean, you're, you're operating a group home. Um, a lot of these folks are going to need care. So let's just say we, we, we only have one nurse on staff. Uh, this is your, your average salary for, for a registered nurse in the United States is about $73,550. Uh, but that's just the salary. Uh, obviously, to, to be competitive, we... We want to we want to supply these folks with benefits as well. Uh, so how you know, your average benefits are going to cost twenty three thousand and five hundred dollars per year. So we're talking just to have one nurse on staff. This is going to cost me almost one hundred thousand dollars just for one employee. And that's just one employee working working full time is, is eight hours. Uh, but this is a group home, right? 
people are going to be living there 24 seven. So what I need to have, I need to keep it staffed the whole day, right? 24 seven. So to do that, we're going to need three employees, not one nurse, but three employees. How much is that going to be? Do the math real quick. So you're talking uh, salary plus benefits times three is what? $291,150. So we're talking just to have a home and to keep it staffed. It's going to cost over half a million dollars. <laughs> Under our model, we'll show you how to start with only fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred bucks, simply by leasing a property. And then we'll show you how to get the home set up um, and what you need. An actual uh, a list of everything that you're gonna need and where to get it with only a few hundred bucks. So fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars. Um, as far as business startup cost, that is a very small number. But even if you don't have that to get started now, do not don't let that hold you back. Um, if you do need money to get started, we recommend finding a capital partner and offering a split of the profit um, using the method using the methods that we teach. Again, each home is going to net around two to three thousand dollars a month. How long would it take for you to pay off twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, do you really not have any family or friends or think that you can find somebody that's looking to uh, to looking to make a little bit more money. Now, if you think you can't find a partner for something like this, let's do some math. Um, so on the low end, let's say you net two thousand dollars a month. So again, remember, revenue is going to be around four to six thousand dollars a month. But let's account for expenses and say you bring in after all said and done, you bring in two thousand dollars a month. That's an annual profit of twenty four thousand dollars. With an original investment of $2,500, $2,500, that's an ROI or return on investment of 960%. And again, imagine if you had a few more homes. If you can show a potential partner that you've done your homework, that you have a game plan, and you're ready to hustle, there's no way someone who believes it, who believes in you will turn down that kind of return. Trust me. No one in real estate or Wall Street is seeing that type of return on their money. The average person that flips homes or uh, that buys homes and, and, and fixes them up and then rents them, you'd be shocked at how little some of these folks are making. A lot of, a lot of people that do that kind of investment are happy if they bring in just a couple hundred dollars a month on, on those homes. We're gonna bring we're gonna show you a model that's gonna bring in thousands. Also keep in mind, a lot of the seminars and coaching and classes that teach those folks how to do that, they charge thousands, sometimes up to $50,000 to teach them these methods. Uh, we're going to show you, we're going to show you how to make a lot more money than them for a lot less. Okay. I, I know what you're thinking. Um, yeah, it c it could be inexpensive, but there's no way you can just do that without a license, right? Um, so let's see what what type of group homes are there? There's disability homes with people who have autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, etc. Um, there's sober living homes with people who might also have depression or bipolar disorder. You have veteran ho veteran homes with, with people who might have PTSD or be disabled. Um, you have seniors, they, they're going to need nursing, right? So how much will all those licenses cost and how long does it take to get? You're telling me I can be up and running in 60 days with only 1500 bucks? Each state is going to be different on how you, how you get licensed and the time and costs and uh, resources it's going to take. But let's just look at, at Texas, for example. I'm going to pause and let you read.
sounds confusing, right? It is. It can take months or years to get through. And besides all the license and miscellaneous fees, how much do you think it will cost to hire a lawyer to ensure that you are compliant and that you're doing everything correctly? It's actually on the low end, $15,000 and up to $50,000. So I know what you're thinking. Great. You're telling me that we can get started in 30 to 60 days for 1500 bucks after we go through all this licensing and spending up to $50,000, right? Mm. Under our model, you simply provide housing and are protected by the Federal Fair Housing Act, which we'll get to more in, in a little bit. And for anything that requires a license, you will simply outsource to third-party home health companies. Um, there are thousands, if not millions of them across the country. Just an example in, in this slide, you can see that in Dallas, on the real yellow pages uh, page alone, there are 731 of them. And again, that's just on, on yellow pages. That's not through other sites or using Google or anything like that. Um, so again, let me repeat that. You will legally uh, just simply be a housing provider, but then using the marketing methods that we teach uh, social workers, caseworkers, et cetera, they'll be ringing your phone nonstop and you're bound to come across someone that needs licensed care. Will you offer that? Absolutely. You will have hundreds of local licensed professionals ready to give your tenants the professional care that they want. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, sure, you know, Andy, Brandon, you guys are in Texas. Of course it works there. Isn't it like the wild, wild west out there? It's not going to work in my state or my town. There's there's way too many rules and regulations here, right? You remember this confusing piece of legal mumbo jumbo a few slides back, right? So this was actually from Texas. It's going to be equally confusing and expensive and hard to be licensed no matter where you're located in the country. Using our business model that's worked for Andy for the past 15 years, you simply serve as a housing provider operating in compliance with the Fair Housing Act. And again, as mentioned previously, if you have any tenants that need or want licensed care, it will be available, but you'll simply outsource that to a third party um, and a lot of them are called home health companies, which we covered in, in previous slides. So what is the Fair Housing Act and how does that apply to this business? First, let's, uh, let's read a summary here from Wikipedia. Um, the Fair Housing Act, also known as Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968, introduced meaningful federal enforcement mechanism. It outlaws refusal to sell or rent a dwelling to any person because of race, color, disability, religion, sex, familial status, or national origin, discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, disability, familial status, or national origin in the terms, conditions, or privileges of sale or rental of a dwelling, advertising the sale or rental of a dwelling indicating preference, limitation, or discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, handicap, familial status, disability, or national origin, coercing, threatening, intimidating, or interfering with a person's enjoyment or exercise of housing rights based on discriminatory reasons or retaliating against the person or organization that aids or encourages the exercise or enjoyment of fair housing rights. When the Fair Housing Act was first enacted, it prohibited discrimination only on the basis of race, color, religion, and national origin. Sex was added as a protected characteristic in 1974, and in 1988, disability and familial status, the presence or anticipated presence of children under 18 in a household were added. Uh, so let's let's use that. Let's use this in a real life example. Uh, basically, so let's say that you want to start a home for veterans, uh, disabled vets, for example. Your neighbors, your homeowners association, nobody can complain to local authorities and say that I don't want this type of person living in our neighborhood. 
for example, we don't want disabled people living in our in our neighborhood or we don't want a home filled with people who are trying to get sober living in our neighborhood or we don't want a group for 20 to 30 year old women in this neighborhood. So it was put in place to pro prohibit discrimination against any group of people, really. Um, and it is a federal law. So federal law is going to trump any local or state laws. And this particular law has been upheld in numerous court cases. And using the business model that Andy uses to this day, after being in business for over 15 years, you're going to operate under law simply as a housing provider. But are you going to advertise just a standard room for rent on places like Craigslist and Apartments.com? No. Using our marketing techniques, we'll show you how to get your phone ringing off the hook by social workers, case workers, hospitals, etc. with folks that they service who need clean, safe, and affordable housing that you will get paid to provide.